I was born at 28 weeks premature, uh, and term is 40. So that's really quite early. I, I think they were relatively pessimistic to start with. My mum still vividly remembers this. And the doctors came and spoke to her and they said that I had a 50-50 chance of survival. And even if I did survive, I might not be normal. Back in the 1980s, we could treat babies at, at about 28 weeks and above, most of them, not all of them, but babies below that would die because we, we couldn't really treat them effectively. They put a breathing tube down, they supported my breathing. Then I needed oxygen and kind of pressure support for a while. And then they took the breathing tube out. I think once that happened, then they were more optimistic. When we used to walk to school, my mum would nudge me sometimes and point at a man walking in the opposite direction. And he was the neonatal consultant that did actually save my life. And that was really kind of the moment that I thought, yeah, I'm going to be a doctor. Ventilation and ventilators have changed dramatically uh, over the past 30 to 40 years. They were very simple machines that really had very little that could be controlled. They were very crude. Imagine if you were on a ventilator and you wanted to breathe in your way and the ventilator wanted to breathe in its way. And from there, very complicated machines that can provide many different ways of ventilation, many safer ways of ventilation. These things have been huge advances in the care of babies and older people as well. But um, more work needs to be done in every aspect of neonatal care. Premature babies are in particular difficult to manage. They have very irregular breathing patterns. Very rarely can you set up a ventilator to follow what the baby needs. Ventilators in general are typically controlled by flow or pressure. What NAVA does is that it introduces a novel way of doing this. So instead of flow or pressure, you actually regulate on the patient's will to breathe. It senses the breathing with a catheter that goes down into the stomach and rests along the diaphragm. And this catheter has little electrodes in it that can sense when the diaphragm's moving. This is an almost instantaneous way of telling when a patient is breathing. We have been switching in our unit more and more to NAVA because the babies seem to love it. NAVA is not only a mode of ventilation for neonates. NAVA is a great mode of ventilation also for adults. It is in particular beneficial during the weaning process, but also before the weaning, to really keep the diaphragm active, to make sure that they are using their diaphragm so that they will be successful once you start weaning. Today's advanced critical care ventilators give us fabulous ways of measuring on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, very sophisticated levels of interaction between patient and ventilator. And what that really does is help us tailor what we do to individuals in a very, very refined way. But there are times when people have such sick lungs, they're so wet, they're so heavy, they're so stiff, that the force that a mechanical ventilator needs to apply to get any gas into lungs is very high. And that force adds to the damage that's already there. So extracorporeal life support allows us to get enough oxygen into the blood, get enough carbon dioxide out of the blood, while using minimal force from the mechanical ventilator. It takes blood out of a vein, puts it into a, a special chamber where oxygen is put into the blood and carbon dioxide is taken out of the blood, and then it injects the, the blood back into the body with the goal, really, of bypassing the sick lungs altogether so that we're really able to, as we say, rest the lungs, make sure that we're not adding to the damage that's already occurring from the patient's underlying disease. So when I talk to parents about the fact that I was premature, there's always a sense of surprise, I think, a little bit even shock. Seeing me as a newborn doctor now uh, gives them a sense of hope and possibility, I think. 
the advances we've made in even just the last 10, 15, 20 years mean that the outcomes are much better than they used to be. The other day we had a one-year-old come back who was born at 24 weeks and she looked absolutely perfect. She was in this amazing little um, black jacket with a sheepskin collar and you wouldn't know that anything at all had ever happened to her. You know, you think she'd had a normal term delivery. It's so nice to be able to go home and go, I saved a life today. 